Hi, I'm uh, Charlie Kelly. I'm the 2019 president for the Arizona Desert Bighorn Sheep Society. Sheep Society was uh, formed in 1967, and I believe uh, in the early 70s, we started building projects specifically for bighorn sheep. To date, that number's right around 200 projects total that are sheep specific within uh, throughout Arizona. The goal of the Arizona Desert Bighorn Sheep Society is to increase the population of both Rocky Mountain and Desert Bighorn sheep throughout Arizona. The other big goal we have is to reintroduce sheep into historic ranges that don't hold sheep now and that we would like to put new populations into. The Sheep Society has been hugely successful in expanding the population of bighorn sheep here in Arizona. Since it was founded in 1967, the population has expanded to less than a thousand animals in the 60s to um, well over 7,000 animals today. Um, in addition to that, um, back in the 60s, we only had desert bighorn sheep in the state of Arizona. And Rocky Mountain bighorn sheep, another species, has been introduced to the eastern and central Arizona. And we've got five or six very healthy populations of Rocky Mountain bighorn sheep as well here in Arizona now. The natural desert normally doesn't retain any water. You'll get a heavy rainfall and you'll have an abundance of water that quickly disappears. About the only natural areas that retain any water are called Tanajas, and there's quite a few over in the Yuma and Southern Arizona area. Um, they'll hold water for quite a while. In the last uh, 50 years, um, the Sheep Society has gone in and raised the height of a lot of those natural Tanajas that are in ravines and canyons to where they hold more water and they'll hold water sometime months on end. Um, since the water disappears so quickly in, in a natural desert, by doing a structure like this, when we get a big heavy rain, it captures the water and stores it underground where the evaporation rate is very low. So our goal is to have water available on a perennial basis all year long for wildlife, including bighorn sheep. My name is Matt Dominey. I'm the project manager for the Bighorn Sheep Society on this particular project and also a past president of the organization. The first step was to big a, dig a big hole, as you can see. And then we come in with the, and set all the forms and put all the rebar reinforcement steel in them. And then obviously today we're pouring concrete. And our next step will be have some block masons come in and lay our block walls up, which will be six foot tall. And then after that, we'll come back on the volunteers and grout concrete in those cells to give it strength. Volunteers are very, very important to the success of a project. Um, we not only depend on them for their expertise in designing and building these projects, but they supply all the labor as volunteers, so it greatly reduces the cost of a project. Without having to charge for the labor, we're able to build five or six projects a year we'd have to do one or two. The Game and Fish Department would have to do one or two a year is all if they had to pay for the labor to do it. So it really stretches the dollar so we can accomplish more during the year. Um, they're great animals and almost all the members that we have have hunted bighorn sheep themselves once and they're not done. Once they get done hunting, they continue to be involved with conservation of bighorn sheep for the rest of their life. It's a very worthwhile program and we've made great strides in expanding the population. So it's a very worthwhile program and very rewarding for those people that are involved with it.